Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened Tech LR Rose and Zamasu at Rainbow Status. They are easily one of the most highly anticipated EZAs on Global this year, and they don't disappoint, as you will see. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their EZA details, so if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Okay, so starting with the leader skill, it is tech types, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense, plus 120%. Their 12k super attack raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for three turns. And their 18k super raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for six turns. Their passive recovers 15% HP, key plus two, and defense plus 50% at the start of turn, plus an additional key plus two, defense plus 50%, and guards all attacks for three turns from start of turn. And then they get attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional E plus 1 up to 4, and attack and defense plus 30% up to 120% with each attack received. And the links are basically maxed out. I mean, obviously, we do have Fear and Faith at level 9, which is kind of annoying, but it's not really going to affect their overall performance, right? And the skill orbs are a level 5 attack, level 5 dodge, and level 4 crit slash attack. So, there you go, that is my Rose and Zamasu. The team we're running is Patara, led by the double int LR Vegitos. And we also have the STR Rose, the Tech Vegito, uh, AGL Goku Black, and finally the LR, STR LR Goku and Vegeta. So, on this first rotation, we have the LR linked up with basically their best linking partner in the game, which is the STR Rose. And we also have some additional support from the Tech Vegito. And we're starting with 236,000 defense, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Nothing crazy, nothing super impressive, but this is basically the baseline right now. And uh, it's only going to get better as we progress through the event, right? So. I'm actually going to leave the Rosé in the first slot because we can get the additional 30% attack support. And then that's going to be a full 24 key super for the Rosé and Zamasu. And we'll give a super to the Vegito as well. Now keep in mind that we're not getting any stacks on the passive from taking hits this turn. So whatever you see here, whatever attack we end up getting, um, it's definitely going to get better later on in the showcase. Okay, so we're taking a super here. It's not going to hit too hard. There we go. And <laughs> Rose and Zamasu, 9.6 mil with an 8.6 mil crit. So pretty close to 10 mil attack right there. Um, I would say that is a good start. That's definitely a good start considering they can reach much higher heights. And another thing that you should keep in mind uh, I'm going to take the Goku Black out of rotation here because I want to eventually get him to support the uh, Rosie and Zamasu, right? But another thing to keep in mind is that we are running 180% leads, right? So there's still room for the Rosie and Zamasu to grow, right, with 200% leaders. And um, yeah, that's also kind of crazy. The fact that they're not under 200% leader skills but they're still putting up crazy, crazy numbers. And I know 9.6 mil is not like anything new per se, right? We do have quite a few units that can reach those attack stats, but uh, we're only getting started. We're only getting started. So uh, now our defense should be up to close to 300k, I think, 274k. Okay, now this is only with the 30% defense from the super attack last turn. And we're going to take at least one hit here, so that should definitely help quite a bit. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so it took 23 damage there. 8.49 mil, so basically 8.5. And that is a bit of a drop-off from last turn, but that's because we lost the support from the Vegito, right? So, yeah, not as high as I thought it was going to be, actually. 
but just hold on just hold on it does get better okay so with these guys I think what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna float the Vegito because I want him to continue supporting the other rotation too and uh, eventually this rotation is gonna be the str lr vegeto and the int lr vegeto we just haven't been able to get this rotation sorted out but it doesn't really matter anyways because we're mainly here for the rose and zamasu right so i don't really care what these guys do unless they get us killed which they shouldn't because the int vegeto you know is very strong not as strong as the rose and zamasu but still quite good so i think he'll be fine yeah. Yeah, no, we're taking double digits. Not a big deal. And of course, the GT Legendary Goku event is not like that bad anymore, relatively speaking. Okay, so now we have the triple Goku Black rotation. Um, I'm very tempted to put the Rose in the first slot just for the support from his super, but. I want the Rose and Zamasu to max out their passive. So we're going to put them in the first slot. The defense is up to 500k. Okay, that's a big difference right there. We did super twice last turn. And we also took um, one hit. And we also... Well, I guess that's it, right? Yeah, so that's where all the defense comes from. And we are losing a bit of defense there. But not a big deal. 12 point... What was it 12.6? I think it was 12.6 and it kind of sucks that we crit there because I was hoping to take some more hits um, so the passive still isn't maxed out for Rose and Zamasu we honestly got kind of unlucky we got a little bit unlucky because in a lot of my other runs that I've done off-camera uh, by this point we would have at least taken three to four hits right and so far we've only taken two which is kind of rare but that's just how it goes sometimes, you know, with these showcases, like, when I'm trying to showcase a unit, um, they tend to either underperform, like, they don't get the additional supers, or the RNG just sucks, like, we're not getting hits here, right? But it's fine. By the end of the showcase, when we get closer to, like, the Super Saiyan 4s, um, they're going to be maxed out either way, right? So we just got to be a little bit more patient, and you guys will see what these guys are truly capable of but i would say 12 point i think it was five or six 12.6 let's say uh mill attack stat is already really really good <laughs> it's it's already really really good all right uh do we want to put the rose in the first slot or do we want to put you know what screw it i'm not gonna play around anymore we're just gonna max out the passive here and then once we get the uh agl goku black back on rotation that's when we'll be able to see the maximum possible attack stat for LR Rose and Zamasu on this team, at least. Okay, so we're taking a super there for 20 damage. Very nice. And we got 14.4 mil. He dodged it though, damn, that sucks. <laughs> That's rough. So we don't get to see how much damage that would have done. I would assume a lot. Right, and uh, silver lining here, silver lining, our STR Rosé got the final blow. And in case you guys didn't know, with the final blow, it will now have attacks effective against all types for the rest of the fight. And also an additional attack and defense plus 50%. So he's going to be a lot stronger. Um, yeah, we can leave this rotation as is, I'm pretty sure. Should I use an item here, maybe? I don't think it's necessary. I am a little bit concerned about the STR, the Jito, and maybe the Goku Black, because even though he has type advantage, he doesn't get a lot of defense, so a super here might hurt a little bit. But as long as we don't die, then I don't really care. Anyways, um, so far, Rose and Zamasu, highest attack that we've seen is what, 14 point four it was last turn um the max i've seen on this team is 15 point something i forgot the exact number but <laughs> it was really high it was really really high and once again guys we're under 180 percent leaders um once we get those 200 percent leaders which i don't think exist yet unless 
I didn't check thoroughly enough, but I'm I'm 99% sure there's no 200% leader that works right now for the LR. So once we get that, um, yo, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna put the LR in the first slot once again. Of course, we're missing the support from the Rose Super, but Rose is gonna hit pretty hard right now, and I don't want him to kill the Great Ape. Um, before the LR gets a chance to attack, right? So 445k defense, we did get debuffed um, last time from taking a super, so this should actually be like five to 600k, somewhere in that range. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, still gonna be over 10 mil, but we only got one support instead of two, so only, only 12.3 mil on this super, unfortunately. It's very sad, I know, it's... Uh, very disappointing. Okay, yeah, 6.3 mil from Rosé. This rotation is just really, really strong, guys. It's uh, one of my favorite rotations in the game right now, no question, because of just how well these guys work with each other and just how strong, how powerful they are, too, right? Like, both of them hit really hard. Obviously, the LR hits a lot harder, but then we got the support from the Rosé. And, um,. Ooh, give me one sec. Let me just think about whether I want to pop an item here. Uh, I feel a little bit worried about the Vegito here with all those hits at the end, so I am going to play it safe and pop a Princess Snake for that damage reduction. With that, we should be fine. Oh crap. Okay, so we're getting a token attack. Not with the unit we want. I didn't realize that uh, we were so close to the token attack, so I'm getting the tutorial because I recently switched my device but um, yeah this is not great but it's fine of course I would have preferred the Rose and Zamasu to get the Dokkan attack and potentially one shot the Super Saiyan 4 Goku I could see that happening I definitely could see that happening but it'll be fine it'll be fine we'll still see a very impressive attack from the LR next turn because we'll have the triple Goku Black rotation and I'm really excited guys I'm very very excited for that attack it should be our maximum possible attack stat at least on this team um, and uh, it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time okay so it looks like Vegito is gonna be the one to get supered because of course he is um, luckily, we did pop the Princess Snake, so I don't think he's going to get us killed. Or maybe there's no there's no super this turn. Wow, okay. Um, 713k defense. 713k defense. I would actually feel very, very uh, comfortable with putting the LR Rose Azamasu there, because that's enough defense to tank any super from the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but at the same time, I want the Rose to get a hit in first before we attack. So I'm gonna put Rose in the first slot. Uh, I'm praying that he doesn't kill Super Saiyan 4 Goku somehow. If he gets an additional super, it's definitely possible. So hopefully he doesn't get that. Okay, good, good. And he's gonna take a super here for probably not too much. And there you go. Yo, my luck in showcases is the worst. <laughs> that is ridiculous. What is there to say still? Well, I mean, at this point, like, what else is there to say? We just get unlucky, man. We just get unlucky. At least we saw the number. It was 1626 million attack so um at least we have that at least we have that but man um that would have been a really nice hit that would have been a really nice hit and we don't get that now so uh what can you do guys you know that that's life things don't always go the way you want them to or often don't go the way you want them to you just gotta accept it and move on so yeah uh 16 point 26 I expect that or I suspect that's gonna be as high as it gets in this showcase and uh, that's more than you know that's more than good enough 
And let's see, let's put Rose in the first slot again, once again, for that additional support. Um, not so many attacks in the last slot though. So many attacks in the last slot. Is this guy gonna be okay? Mm, yeah, I think. Hmm. You know what? Best to be safe. I'm gonna pop the princess snake. I'm gonna pop that princess snake because you never know, man. I, I don't want to die at this point in the showcase because of Tech Vegito. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna play it smart. We're gonna play it safe and pop that princess snake. Okay, so hopefully our super here doesn't get dodged. 15.4, no dodge, beautiful. And not, not bad damage, not bad damage. Yeah, uh, a crit would have been nice, but I'll take that. At least the hit landed, right? At least it wasn't another dodge. I was literally like half expecting it to be another dodge because that's just how this showcase has been going. But uh, I'm thankful that one at least landed. I'm thankful that I had the foresight to pop a Princess Snake so that we didn't get wrecked on that super. And yeah, um, ooh, Google Black is gonna be trouble too. Okay, so we're gonna pop the, pop the Icarus as well. Um, defensively, the Rose and Zamasu, very, very good. It's just some of these other support units that I brought that uh, need to be protected with the items. So just to make sure we get through the end of this event, I'm going to use the items. It's not for the LR once again, not for the Rose and Zamasu. Um, I think their defense actually is very, very respectable. It's very, very respectable. Is it the best in the game? Definitely not, right? Like it's, it's not gonna make them one of the best tanks or anything like that but it's gonna make them a very respectable tank a very good tank in fact like a you know top whatever you want to say like top 20 tank or whatever but it's good enough where you can trust them to take a super in super battle road an extreme super battle road in uh even red zone even red zone they'll like take damage don't get me wrong like they might take even a couple hundred k but they're most likely not gonna get you killed and um obviously any deficiencies they might have in defense which is not a lot they, they do get a lot of defense 594k right now um, any deficiencies they have defensively are more than made up for in their offense where they're getting 10 mil like it's nothing but you know possibly up to 13 14 15 16 mil and possibly up to like 17 18 mil with 200 percent leaders so just a uh, amazing, ridiculous easy A, guys. Uh, we're gonna end off with a 14 mil super, which is actually kind of underwhelming for what we've been seeing so far. And at least we got the additional super, 8.5 mil. So that's gonna do it. 8.5 for the 12 key, 4.6 mil crit, and that's it. That is the LR Rose and Zamasu, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them. Are you impressed? Are you disappointed? Or do you think they're just okay? Let me know. How you guys feel and uh, i will do a showcase of the trunks and my as well a little bit later probably tomorrow actually because i don't think i'll have time tonight but i wanted to make sure i got this one out as soon as possible because this is the main one that people were hyped for and for good reason so that's it guys that is the showcase thank you so much for watching um definitely a top three easy in the game right now Maybe even top one, honestly. I mean, we got the STR Cooler, who is great for support um, and also hits really hard in his own right. So, would I put them, like these guys, over the STR Cooler? That's a tough call. That's a tough call, but I would say they're close. I would say they're close for like one and two. Maybe it's 1A, 1B, something like that, but easily one of the best ECAs in the game right now. No question about that. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.